Hi friends, let's make a rabbit icon in Figma. I have a lot of friends celebrating Lunar New Year coming up, so I figured I'd do a water rabbit. I'm also going to change my background color to be a bit more festive. Let's go. I'm going to begin by duplicating my little rabbit icon here. You can see it's actually constructed using a bunch of individual shapes. Let's put this together together, shall we? I am going to begin with an oval. I am using this oval to draw out one of the ears. I'm going to double click on this oval and expand this out just a little bit to get that ear shape. So I'm going to move that about and size it down just a little bit. So we're looking for two ears. We're going to be making adjustments shortly, but we're just going to rough out some of these shapes. Next, I'm going to press the O key. We're going to draw it a circle and I'm going to extend that out to be an oval and rotate it slightly for the head there. Next, draw in a rectangle. So I'm going to draw in a rectangle and bring this rectangle all the way down. And this is going to serve as the body of the bunny. So to do this, I'm going to double click inside of that rectangle, select these three points here and round off those corners. Let's say about a value of 24. It's at this point, I'm going to select all of my shapes and I'm going to set the fill to be black. I'm going to press the O key and give the bunny its signature tail. So once again, let's select that and make that black. We're going to look at the base of the bunny. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here all the way down to this main point. I'm going to select that to be black. I'm going to double click on it, select this bottom left point, and I'm going to round that corner out to about a value of five or six. I'm going to go with five. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to add another rectangle still to be the front paw of the bunny. Once again, I'm going to double click inside of it, select the two front points and just round out the corners there. So I'm going to select the fill to be a value of black. I can now double click into the main shape that we have here, select the bottom right point and reduce that to be about a rounded corner of 14. This is looking pretty good here. We have the basics of the bunny. Now let's work on getting it into outline mode. I'm going to select all of those shapes and I'm going up here to the Boolean groups. I'm going to union selection with them selected. I'm going to swap the fill in the stroke. So press shift X to do that. It's going to look a little weird at first, but then you can set the stroke to be in the center. You'll also notice these sharper edges here. We want to make those a little bit softer. So I'm going to pull up the advanced stroke panel over here and set the joins to be rounded. So you can see we got those nice softer joins there. Next, I'm going to go into that Boolean object by double clicking in here and modifying some of our points. Let's say the ears up here, I'm going to select them. I can select them inside of the Boolean object. They're non-destructive and I can move this down and over. I can select this oval for the face and I can move that a little bit to the left. I can select the bunny tail and move that a little over to the right. I can select this square that we're serving as the base and I can move that up just so y'all know and add as in previous episodes, we discussed having a nudge setting. So command P nudge amount, the small nudge set to 0.5, and that lets you move those sensor lines into proper half pixel positions. Lastly, we're going to add some details in here. So the first detail I'm going to add, I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click right there and I'm going to click up by a value of two. Right now, my corner radius is set to two. So it's already giving me the output that I want. Now let's make an adjustment. Let's give it a back paw. Press the O key. 
and draw out a circle. I'm going to use the arc tool to extend that out. I want this bottom line here to match up with this midpoint. I'm gonna make this a tad bit smaller. Once again, we wanna keep that line there. Let's adjust our sweep. I'm gonna pull in the ratio, press Shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Let's set that stroke to be black. Here, I'm gonna double click on that point that's going to expand the arc. I'm going to use the pen tool here to click, 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 right? We have this nice little end paw there. Uh, we're going to use, go back to the move tool, select those two points and round it off. Now we want to make sure that this edge right here and this end point right there are both rounded. So we're going to select the rounded joins and we are also going to select the round endpoints. So there we go. Let's make sure that our join is also set to round with the advanced stroke panel. There we go. If I want to make any adjustments to this, I can double click in. Let's say I select those two points and I move it over just a smidge to get more definition in that paw. I can also go here, select that endpoint. Let's double click in and select that endpoint there to the left. And let's reduce that corner radius to give our back base a little bit more definition. I'm going to double click on the body. I'm going to select this left endpoint, right? This is inside the Boolean group. And I'm just going to give the bunny a bit more back definition, make the bunny a little bit more dynamic. Notice how I'm moving the shape from within the union group and that affects the stroke. This is looking pretty good. I think I'm fairly close to what I had before. If I were to make any more adjustments, maybe make this oval just a bit bigger right about there. I think that that looks great. If you want to optimize your icon, let's make a duplicate. Let's select the three objects that we have here. Let's create another union. And with this selected, let's hit Command E. That's going to flatten it into one single solid path with a fill. So if I double click in, you can see all of the points that we have here generating our icon. So that's it for today. Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you celebrate, happy Lunar New Year. Take care, friends.